in this topic we will discuss about the various types of assignments uh, that are given to expatriate employees and how that affects the performance management system of the multinational organization so the type of assignment which is given to the employee that will lead to how the tasks are defined uh, for that particular assignment and uh, the more objectively those tasks can be defined for that assignment the more easier it is to uh, measure the performance and to make the performance management system more objective and structured however if the assignment is subjective if the task if the assignment involves subjective tasks uh, then uh, the uh, measurement of such type of activities is subjective and therefore cannot be uh, uh, translated into very much objective criteria so the type of assignment is going to then affect how the performance of an employee is measured by the organization so there are four types of assignments which have been classified uh, number one is the technical type of assignments uh, for which about five to ten percent of people are sent on these technical assignments uh, technical assignments are basically given for short-term knowledge transfer when uh, for example is a, a new machinery is installed or new technology is installed a new system is uh, developed in the subsidiary and uh, people at the subsidiary level the home country nationals they are not familiar and they are not conversant with the technicalities of that new system people from the home country they are from the parent country they are sent to the home country to conduct these technical assignments uh, to make sure that the new systems they are working properly and that the people who are operating those systems they have the accurate and appropriate know-how to run the system so they go for short-term knowledge transfer purposes and about five to ten percent of expatriate assignments are technical a uh, second type of assignment is that of uh, which is of developmental nature about similarly five to ten percent of the expatriate assignments are developmental developmental assignments are those that focus on in-country performance and acquisition of local understanding by the assignee so these type of assignments they involve developing the mark the first of all understanding the market and then developing the know-how to operate in that market and establish your grounds in that particular situation in that particular country uh, so these um, uh, assignments they are for the purpose of developing the developing the the organizational structure developing the organizational knowledge the well, developing the organizational norms uh, developing the market of that uh, of that company uh, so and and they these could be of various different uh, uh, functions they the, that could be on the financial level that could be at the marketing level that could be at the uh, operations level so if a person is sent to develop the operations network the operations department then it would be the developmental activity in that particular area if that person is sent to develop uh, the market for a product of that particular company then it is going to be in that marketing area if that person is sent to develop the financial uh, systems of uh, that company it is going to be in the finance area so it could be in any area of the organization uh, and about five to ten percent of the international assignments are developmental in nature <clears throat> Uh, then the third type of assignments they are strategic assignments and about 10 to 15 percent of the expatriate assignments are of strategic nature these are at the c-suit level at the uh, top level management which are high profile activities for developing a global perspective so it will not be at the managerial level or at the middle level manager level these assignments will be at the ceo level uh, or uh, somewhere in the c-suite level uh, which would be to develop a global perspective of the subsidiaries that are working uh, under that multinational network 
so these are about 10 to 15 percent of the assignments and finally are the functional assignments and most of the uh, expatriate assignments are functional in nature about 55 to 80 percent of the assignments are of functional nature and these are more enduring uh, enduring two-way transfer of existing processes and practices so uh, functional uh, type of assignments operational type of assignments in which day-to-day -day activities have to be managed and a two-way transfer process uh, between the home country and the parent country has to take place so people who are for example financial head the marketing head the r d head or uh, these people who are supposed to make the connection between the parent country the headquarters and the subsidiary these are the people who are mostly sent from the uh, uh, from the parent country to the host country to manage this uh, connection between the two and they are of the functional nature and mostly 55 to 80 percent of assignments belong to this category when we talk about performance management of these types of assignments uh, the technical and functional assignments they you can see very well that they are more objective in nature and therefore limited sources of uh, uh, limited sources are required to measure the performance of people who are doing these assignments uh, and for that you can also get concrete output criteria uh, so for functional and technical assignments you can measure it by how many projects a person has completed or how many contracts have been signed uh, and how many products have been launched so if they are technical uh, na nature assignments or functional nature assignments it is easier to calculate the performance of these types of assignments whereas if the assignment is that of a strategic nature and that of the developmental nature that is more complex and involves subjective tasks so uh, you can uh, very well imagine that strategy that is not devised on a uh, on a spreadsheet it is something which has to be a combination of art and sciences it is a something which has to be a combination of rationality and creativity and when both these things they come together that becomes a subjective task and you cannot actually measure okay uh, what is the strategic development of the company in that particular year it, it's possible that it may not whatever tasks have been done or whatever things have been done by a person may not reflect at the strategic level in a one year uh, in, a, in a one year time period uh, so strategic and developmental assignments they are more complex and there are subjective tasks and it involves a wider variety of local uh, local and global participants and perspectives uh, which means that people from various different aspects from local aspect and also from the global aspect may be required to comment about the performance of that particular individual and may need to be participating in the performance management process uh, so this is the uh, this is how the different types of assignment they affect the um, the performance management process of an organization and how that needs to be altered and it needs to be customized according to the type of assignment which is given to the international employee.